All right. Not that I've ever tried one of these, but after you drink the um, Carolina Amber Ale, and then you go to the Pittsburgh uh, Pilsner, like I said, never done it. That tastes like a pot brownie right there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know if this is coincidence or anything, but if can you hear the music in the background? <laughs> What's going on everybody? We're again more beer tasting. <laughs> Lovely. So we are at a fair game. Fair game uh, beverage just outside of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. All right, we got number two going Southern Basil. Farmhouse. Southern Basil Farmhouse. You don't get this? Are you going to get no, this? No, I didn't get this. Let's see this. She likes it. That's all that matters because she's the one that ordered it. But no. I told him he would like it. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> oh, look. Here's shiitake. 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 Buster Brown shiitake. Buster Brown shiitake. It's mushroom. I'll still drink it. I'll still drink it, but I don't like that one. All right, next one, Flag Signal Sour. Tropical Sour. That has a good taste to it. Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh, you're not there yet? Yeah. Not bad? Not bad. No, I kind of I kind of dig it. It tastes real. We just got off the road. Like, <laughs> you were frogging your throat? I, the, the, sour, <laughs> the sour has some punch to it. The sour definitely has some punch to it. We just got off the road like seven hours of travel so this this tastes pretty good yeah it's not bad all, all of these taste like really good so i think they're better than that last one they're, yeah well, they have a little more uh, they're not uh, as, uh uniqueness to them instead of just here's a really strong beer strong beer yeah so We'll get her figured out. Rose of Nowhere IPA. He's the one that ordered them. I'm trying to remember for him. Hey. He said that one's been popular, so it's gone. This one kind of ran out too, so that's why a lot of head. <laughs> You've seen our last video. Yeah, the last I IPA I kind of smell like dog piss. This one doesn't. So even though this is my taster, she's going to tell you what this is. Well, he's being so slow. No, it's, it's my a, taster. It's the it's quarter, quarter of the phoenix. Oh, this one's a good one. Yeah, this one's going to be a strong one. So 
so I'll be able to actually drink this one. You can move the line. <laughs> It's a coffee. It's extra. It's strong. <laughs> that's an ass kicker right there. Yeah. Little knock your toes. That's, that's <laughs> ass kicker. All right, now. This is our final beer because we're getting kicked out tonight. Even though there is still sunlight, we're getting kicked out tonight. <laughs> Closing down the bar. We got a Michelada. Which we wouldn't have ordered this except for our buddy uh, Knuckles TV. You know. <laughs> Knuckles got that. Uh, we, we did this. So. Uh, smells like. Michelada. Michelada. <laughs> Spicy. Oh, my lord. That one's good. That's oh. spicy. Well, thank you, approved. Oh. Knuckles, you would approve of this one. I'll tell you what. My lips are on fire. Fire! Oh my <laughs> god. That's good. Hit it. Hit it. Alright, so we're just finishing up here. Of Now, this is called a Michelada. In so many places, but really in Nebraska? It's called a red beer. It's a red beer. Red beer. Spicy. It's still a red beer. It's good though. It is good. But it's just called a red beer. I don't know what all these fancy machadas are. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a red beer. If you're not from Nebraska, which I don't know why you do. We got the mountains. You we should, got you should probably rivers. Cut, that out. cut that out. You don't have any mountains. In we got mountains in Nebraska. No. Yes, we do. There might be some cliffs or some bluffs. All right, going to give you a quick look around here. Uh, when you come in through the front door, of course, this place has, uh, I mean, chocolate and it just has a whole bunch of stuff um little pepper vodka little things like that they got some chips flying to flying pepper tobago pepper i don't know what the hell that is but it sounds pretty good we actually didn't get into those type of spirits or anything like that tonight just simple and perfect. I mean, down to earth. All the people here. We did talk to the owner, um, Lyle. So if you do, or if you are like Harvest Host or anything like that, give Lyle a call. He'll take you in. He said pretty much there's a whole loop around here. You park. We're gonna show you where we park. And uh, I mean, dude, this is outside of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. We're good. We're good. Okay, so I'm taking over right now, but I was just checking out these habanero pickle chips. Those look amazing. And I wanted to show you this Bloody Mary mix right here is what they made the micheladas out of. That was awesome. Dude, check out these sunflowers. I could reach up basically eight foot. To my Could you get out of my shot? Everybody likes chess. Like, I want to show you how big this is. Oh boy. Not only is she beautiful, she's strong as an ox. That stuff is heavy. <laughs> Thank you.
just give you a little shot in the back. They got their own little garden right where they get their basil for the beer that you guys are going to see here in a sec. Alright, entryway. This is going to be one of the first things you guys see. You look down here. And a charging station. A couple of them. Awesome. Charge up the old RV. That's right, Clark. Okay, so when you guys get in here, this is known as the loop. You can go right or left. Well, right. Pretty much go right. <laughs> and it'll bring you down in between. They do have the lights on. You can't really see the lights right now, but they do have them on. It's kind of a cool little... Cool little thing. Hemp. There's a hemp place and then there's also the tasting room. Well they have, a, okay, so there's tours. So in the tastings you can do spirits, you can do beer, wine, and uh, hard cider. Or non-alcoholic. I think there's just a couple options for that. I think it's kombucha or something like that. Kombucha. Little kitchen right there. I don't know if that's actually open right now. And down this way we're down here almost at the end give you a little shot looking back where we just were entrance back there you got the I don't know what that little thing is but it looks like one of those assassin gigantic mosquito assassin wait, beetles wait, turn around and look right here what? you got some axe what? throwing Dude. and there are axes ready to go all right what? All right, let's get in here. Let's get in here. So the entry, go ahead and uh, come down here, and you take a little left, and we'll go back here. We'll take you back, uh, looking this way. Made the loop. Huh. Get her good. Send her flying. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, definitely not couple art pieces around here uh, this is where we ended up parking basically back at the front uh, where we came in you can kind of see that guy walking right there that's, a that's the entrance cool little yeah some art plant art and we're not sure what that blue building these is these are uh, rocks from these rocks are a million years old you're just making that up Wait, don't forget the frog band. We're going to get over there. Let's go over there. Let's check out. I have no idea what that house is up there, but it's pretty popular. Yeah. We're going to check it out. And you can kind of see a few of the barrels right there through the window. And the frog band. And the frog. Band. Band. Bud. Wise. Nah. Er. Nah. No. But wise. Or no. No. Craft beer maker. <laughs> fair gamer. Or fair game. <laughs> there you go, guys. If you're ever in the area of old uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, this is definitely a, a good place to check out. It's been uh, super sure. fun. Super fun. Everyone's very friendly. Yep, we had the owner come up talk to us. His son is uh, bartending right now, so definitely worth uh, checking out if you get here. The, the spot's very easy. It's just like, go wherever you find there. If you find some gravel, park on it. If you find some grass, park on it. He didn't care. He was very welcoming. Came over, talked to us. Super cool dude, Lyle. Talk to him when you can. All right, until next time, guys. Hey.